and the rocket engine is finished. The end cap has finished drying. So if you're gonna use this in a rocket, you can go ahead and cut the bolt so it's flush with the rocket engine. And then you can use it for your rocket. But for now, I'm just gonna do a static test. So let's head over to the river and do that. All right, well, we've made it to the river. So let's go ahead and do our static test. Behind me, I have buried my uh, rocket engine about halfway in the ground. And we're gonna need one of these igniters. I have made a how-to igniter video, so you can go ahead and I'll put it right here. You can go ahead and click on that video to learn how I make my igniters. And I've made this one a little bit different by adding some plastic tubing and a fuse with some gunpowder inside to help ignite the rocket engine a little easier. So let's insert the igniter and try to set this thing off. All right, everyone, this is the moment of truth. Let's see if this thing works. Eye protection on. Yeah. Three, two, one. All right, so the igniter popped, but it did not ignite the fuse. So we're gonna wait a sec, go try a new igniter, and we're gonna do it again. All right, attempt number two. Three, two, one. And that one didn't go at all. Guess we're gonna have to just use normal fuse. All right, here we go. Run for your lives! Yeah! Got a nice smoke cloud from that. That was perfect! Alright, let's go check the rocket engine and see how that end cap stood up and how the nozzle stood up and and everything. Okay, so the rocket engine's really hot. So I'm gonna use a stick to try to get it out of the ground. Ugh. Oh, it's like a root. It's not strong. Ah, I need to find a better stick. Okay everybody, I got my stick. Well, I do not see any deformities on this whatsoever. The end cap is completely still intact. It looks perfect. Like I hadn't even fired it. The nozzle has definitely opened up a little bit, but that usually happens. Um, but it didn't pop out, didn't crumble, it didn't break. So that's all we want. Well, I could not have asked for a better test of this rocket engine. It performed absolutely flawlessly. And it takes a little bit of work to make one of these, but in the end, when you get to watch it go off, I think it's totally worth it. After this video is complete and I've uploaded it, I have a couple more ideas of how-to videos for certain things. Um, it might involve smoke. So be on the lookout for videos like that. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.